Hello friends, welcome to my channel. On this video, I will play, I already played for you, um, Etude number 14 by Wolfhart, Opus 45. And I want to just go through it quickly and talk about the different possibilities. Obviously there's different bowings, and I, I changed the bowing on my 2011 recording. I played it the way it was written in the, in the music, and you can listen to that. Today I, I played it with a bowing where I played down, <coughs> Up, down, then I did four, up bow. So basically practicing a little staccato bowing, and I did it all the way through the piece, and that's from beginning to end. Um, and that's that's an interesting challenge, and you could you could even play you could even play the whole piece staccato, maybe as you as you choose. You could you know do the down bow and then two up. You do it like that, or I suppose you could play. You could just play as it comes. So that's another point. But today I did down and then two separate up, down, and then four hooks up, 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 up. The other thing that's interesting in this piece, it really gives itself um, very much to dynamics. And you'll hear me doing some dynamics. And for example, on the second line, after this. I do a little contrast piano. And then in the fourth bar, I make a start the crescendo. So I'm back to forte by the top of the second page. That's very okay. And then in the third bar of that top line, I do another contrast. Let's say I play a piano. And following the line, crescendo. So by this point in the second line, I'm forte again. So that's pretty cool. Now here, this is the fourth measure of the second line, piano. Now forte, third line of the third line, of the second page, forte. So we've done some crescendos, we've done some diminuendos, we also have some some what we call terrace dynamics, forte, piano, forte, piano, like that. So I'm playing forte and then to the to the end of the piece. Okay, so I think uh, most of this is pretty good. You got a couple, I noticed at the end of the second, this is on the second page, the second line, I have a high G. I definitely recommend A to C sharp, fourth finger. Because that's a really nice, Nice, nice pattern to practice. And then on the third line on the last bar, I play, make it a little bit easier for myself. To the fourth finger A, and just stay on the fourth finger four, two, four. Okay, I think that's about all there is in this one. Have fun with this one. I really like this A2. It's got all these, you know, it just, just begs, begs for dynamics. And it's good to practice your dynamics as much as you can. Okay, thanks so much for listening. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And have a great day.